Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Charles Sabansi. I want to welcome you guys to another episode of the Dreamers Pro Show. We we'll cover everything from sports, hot topics, classic debates, entertainment. And we'll give you guys a fresh perspective on things. And I always say, man, today we got a hell of a show for you guys. Before we get into it, please make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel. Also, if you want to follow me on Instagram, my name is Charles Tabansi. My handle is C-T-A-B-A-N-Z. You want to follow the channel, Instagram, same name as the channel, Dreamers Pro. And if you want today's full show before it comes out on YouTube, it is streaming for free on the Dreamers Pro Podcast. We got pinned below. Anyway, let me get into this topic uh, here. As you guys know, we got some beef up in these streets uh, featuring Stephen A. Smith uh, and your boy Jason Whitlock, right? Jason Whitlock is not backing down with the Stephen A. Smith beef, uh, and Stephen A. Smith is not backing down from it. I love it. These dudes are putting names on it. They they going at each other, and I think that's the way it should be because when they be going at these athletes, they definitely be putting a name on it there, right? And I think another reason they doing this because they realize it does well. Like, yo, don't get it twisted. Yes, he was upset. But you better believe Stephen A. Smith wanted a lot of people to see his response. And so does Jason Woodlock. You would have to be an idiot if you didn't. You want to do what people want. Now, you do it the way you want to do it with your rules and principles, morals, whatever. But everybody that produces content wants it to be seen. And if you figure out something that does well, you continue to do it if you're smart, right? So I th- don't get it twisted. They don't, oh, I, they're just up here for the holiness of it all. Nah, they up here to do well and get views and make money and do uh, and do the rest of that while they cuss each other out, which I'm all here for. And that's exactly what happened, right? They've been going back and forth at each other. But then, uh, friend to the channel, Marcellus Wiley, I caught a bit of his show uh, from the Marcellus Wiley show and uh, never shut up. And he... He weighed on, weighed in on it, but he weighed in on a particular point that I think is very, very important. And that was the point about Stephen A. Smith's uh, career of how he was able to get his basketball scholarship. Now, what do we know about uh, uh, what is it? Marcellus Wiley. Marcellus Wiley is a, a, former, a former professional NFL player. Like he played in the NFL. So we're not just up here twerking it up and saying whatever, whatever. He actually played in the, uh, in the NFL. So he knows exactly, quite literally, how this would work out. And he would be able to spot a lie if somebody was telling it. So what happened? I tuned into his show and I came across a segment where Marcellus Wiley was essentially, not essentially, where Marcellus Wiley called BS on Stephen A. Smith's story about how he was able to able to obtain that uh, scholarship because he's like, in his lifetime, he ain't never heard of nothing like that ever before. But before we even get into his comments, this video is brought to you by our sponsor, Aura. Do you know what the fastest growing crime in America is today? It's identity theft. Imagine trying to log into your email only to see that your password has been changed. Then you start getting weird notifications from your bank and credit cards only to find out that all of your personal and sensitive information has been totally compromised. If you think it can happen to you and your family, just know that in 2020, over 49 million Americans were victims to identity theft, costing them a combined $56 billion. That is why we are excited to partner with Aura, who's the sponsor of this video. Aura is the number one identity theft and financial fraud protection. Aura monitors the dark web and alerts you if any of your passwords and accounts have been breached. And funny enough, after using Aura, I discovered some of my credentials were floating around in the dark web and the app showed me exactly when and where the breach happened. In addition, Aura allows you to set spending alerts and they'll notify you of any suspicious transactions. Aura is four times faster than any of its competitors in alerting you if someone is trying to open a credit card or obtain a loan using your name. And remember this, every 14 seconds, someone becomes a victim of identity fraud. Don't let it happen to you. Now click the link in the description and try Aura for free for two weeks and see if any of you or your family's personal information has been compromised. Start your free trial at Aura.com slash Dreamers Pro. And when you try Aura, by using the link in the description below, also know that you're supporting this channel. Thank you. So what we want to do is want to play exactly what Marcellus Wally had to say in response to Stephen A. Smith comments, Smith's comments, and then we'll come back and continue on the show. Take a listen to that there. Stephen A. Smith wrote a book in which he made some statements about how he got a scholarship in college. And let's just say if anybody's ever played sports, it raised your eyebrows. Well, with Whitlock, it raised more than just his eyebrows. Listen to him. Just think this through. And because I went and looked. It's February. I go check Winston-Salem State's basketball schedule for the 87-88 season. When, you know, this is happening in February of 1988. This covers the 87-88 season. Winston-Salem State, like virtually every other college basketball team during that era, 
played a basketball game on every Saturday of February. So Stephen A is saying that Winston-Salem State, at the end of their basketball season, when they're preparing for their conference tournament, and what, and maybe trying to qualify for the Division II postseason tournament, that they play a game on Saturday, he wakes up the next morning, they're having a scrimmage that he arrives to late in the middle of, and Big House Gaines checks this six foot one, 150 pound guard from New York City who played a couple of months of high school basketball without acquiring any stats or anything, played a month or two of junior college basketball without acquiring any stats or anything. He shuts down a practice, checks Stephen A. Smith into the scrimmage, and then, according to Smith's account, he knocked down 17 straight shots in the scrimmage. And Big House Gaines offered him a full scholarship immediately after the practice. I, I, I'm reading this, and when I read it, I was like, you got to be kidding me. This is a comic book. And this man's calling this his memoir. Yeah. Okay. Let me just say this. Because uh, it's 2024, what is it, the ninth? We ain't even 10 days in, and I think we got a theme already for the entire year. I hate those people that sum up a year, or I hate even people that come up with their New Year's resolutions. I'm like, dog, if the calendar is telling you what you're about to do, you ain't about to do it for long, right? But I'm going to sum up this year already, nine days into it. From Cat Williams' interview, which is still epic. I mean, I haven't watched it again because that's three hours. But the point is, I just keep checking those numbers like, damn, that thing is doing from that interview and the spirit of what Whitlock and Stephen A. Smith were going through right now, I want to know one thing. How do you call BS on somebody without somebody else saying you're hating, clout chasing, etc.? I think this is going to be the year of truth tellers. You know, this seems like the year of those who come out, whether you get exposed or not, whoever tells the truth is going to be the winner in the conversation. So. I'm not saying Stephen A. Smith is lying. I'm not saying that. But I know there's no way, the way I heard that story, he's telling the truth. You understand the difference? <laughs> okay, he ain't lying. I ain't saying you're lying. He's just not telling the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Ain't no way. Let me tell you why. Not that story, not that version can be accurate. Now, maybe Stephen A. Smith just got bored or didn't want to bore us with the details of that story. So he didn't fill it in. He didn't give it the proper color perspective, etc. But ain't no way somebody traveled to a school and played in a scrimmage. I don't give a damn how many shots you make. You make all the shots. Forget 17 in a row. You make every single shot and then walk away from that scrimmage with that scholarship. Let me tell you, there's no way that happens. Why? Because I've never heard of it. I've never witnessed it. I've never even been around anything like that. Let me tell you, in this experience, when you're going to do a tryout, not a single tryout ever <laughs> has ended in the moment and they like, this is yours. Want to know why? Because the tryout is to convince them and they still got to go back and make sure that that opportunity is for you. You ain't the only one trying out. When are you at, we having an all tryouts, all comers? Just for you. <laughs> nah, even when you see pro days, combines, it's always other people. Regionals, you know, they do them national combines, etc. There's always somebody else going. Now, I'm not going to go into the details of this, so that's why I was like, Stephen A. Smith may not be lying, but that version can't be the full truth. So, so you heard what Marcellus Wiley had to say. Listen, um, I've never been a professional athlete, but I take I take his word on it. For him to be saying this, it raises some eyebrows. There's another point that Jason Whitlock brought up, which was when Stephen A. Smith said he only played one point one game in college, and that's why he cracked. That's why he's averaging 1.5 points per game because he cracked his knee. And I'm like, how do you go ahead and average 1.5 points per game while playing only one game? And then Stephen A. Smith came out again and then said, No, well, I didn't play any games. There's a problem. And now we have a former NFL player, a former NFL player saying this story don't add up. It don't work like that. The way you just described it, it never, ever, 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 ever happens like that. 
Those are some pretty damning statements coming from credible sources. Now, will Stephen A. Smith address those points? Hell no. How do I know this? Because he didn't do it in his monologue against uh, Jason Willock. Do you know the reason why? Because he ain't got no response. There is no answer for it. Cussing, hollering, getting pissed off ain't going to be the answer. It's just not going to be the answer. But uh, I was very surprised to hear Marcellus Wiley go out there and say, nah, bro, you, you lying. Straight up and down, you lying. Like, like you lying. You lying. That's not how it goes. I've never heard anything like that ever before. And he even broke it down by saying, actually, this is what goes on, which I liked. Because he didn't just say, okay, you're lying. It's not the truth. But he then said, okay, in reality, in most cases, this is exactly how it play. And he explained it. So, uh, Stephen A. Smith, man. Holla at your boy, man. They out there, they, they, they eating you right now, man. You gotta, you gotta say something. Anyway, these are my thoughts. So what I want to know from you guys, what do you think about uh, the points that Marcellus Wiley brought up? Do you think they're fair? And also, what do you think about Stephen A. Smith's story? Do you think he's telling the truth? Do you think he made it up? Whatever you guys think, please leave your thoughts in the comment section. We catch you guys on the next show. Peace.